here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. Talk with Andrew Wright from Surefire. Andrew, you were just telling me about, about your hunt and showing me pictures of that unbelievable elk that you got. 6.5 Creedmoor. Yeah, man. It worked out uh, really well. Wait, how many people told you, oh, that's too small for elk? Plenty of people. I mean, yeah. You, you, All except the, the elk. It comes down to shot placement. You know, I talked to some more some more guys in our industry that kind of know the deal, and everyone was like, hey, man, that'll do just fine. I had 6.5 on, on hand, and that's what I had familiarity and practice with, and I, right. I felt like that mattered more than anything. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Suppressed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were using our 7.62 tie suppressor. It did an amazing job, super quiet, and uh, like I said before, the, the elk didn't budge when we shot, so it wow. was pretty cool. A lot of people know Surefire as a flashlight company. They don't know you as much for suppressors, but you've been making suppressors for a long time now. Yeah, 19 years. Wow. 19 years we've been going. Um, like uh, like I think we mentioned before, we hold the SOCOM contract for 5.56 suppressors, so over over 11,000 suppressors there. Wow. Um, and, yeah, we try to pride ourselves on, on, on building the best overall kind of fighting suppressor or okay. defense suppressor. Right. Um, we do some other, you know, specific suppressors to do specific jobs. But uh, what I mean by the fighting suppressor thing is, you know, all of those metrics that we mentioned, we, mm -hmm. we think we have the best combination of all of them. Okay. You know, whether it's the durability, the, you know, minimal impact shift, repeatable impact shift, um, you know, the, the, the combination of size, weight, back pressure, all of it. It's a, it's a pretty awesome suppressor that we offer. It's funny, when uh, Andrew Sorensen was leaving here, Science Central, he says, man, he says, we sell a lot of your suppressors. <laughs> he says, if you could get us more, we would sell more of them. Yeah. People, people want them. Yeah, that's the biggest problem is trying to keep up with the demand right now. It's, uh, it's crazy, but we're doing our best. Well, I think people have figured it out. You know, it's like, it's no longer weird or strange or odd to have a suppressor. It's, it's almost... Sometimes when you're at the range, you're thinking, dude, why do you not have a suppressor over there? It's so uncivilized. <laughs> it is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. You had a, a flashlight out here, and then while we're talking, I reach in my pocket, I bring out my, my Surefire uh, you know, light. It's like, I, when I have my pants on, I have my Surefire flashlight with me. Yeah. You, you don't realize how much you use an, uh, a good quality flashlight until you start carrying it on a daily basis. You and use it's a huge it all help. the time. Absolutely. It, yeah. It's pretty crazy. So what did you bring us today? So we got our new Turbo Series here. Um, these are, so generally speaking, most of the lights in our lineup have been what we call a hybrid beam pattern. What that means is there's a hot spot in the middle with a little bit oh, of okay. peripheral spill sure. around it. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. So it goes a moderate, it goes, you know, a decent distance, mm -hmm. and it, but it still has some kind of peripheral uh, view around a little, there. A little bit wider situation. view for that if you need that, yeah. Yep. yep. And we also had our Max Vision, which I know you've seen. That's the one that kind of is a wall of light. It can flood a room. You can see everything right. that's but, going on. But it doesn't punch you out far. It doesn't go very far. So this this is our Turbo Series, and that's going to be our, our higher Candela, which reaches out further. Candela is a measurement that kind of dictates what distance you're going to get out of a light. Um, Lumens is more about the brightness of a light. Oh, so okay. this, is, uh, this is our offering. We both have... You know, long gun weapon lights in our Turbo Series. We have a handheld lineup of uh, Turbo Series, and then we also have handgun Turbo Series. So hmm. the long gun lights are putting out 71,000 candela. Um, and you can see that uh, none of these have the batteries turned on, so that's, I'm trying to show you. That's there okay. It's radio. Nobody knows it didn't work. <laughs> now you got them turned on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It helps if you screw in the tail cap on the back. So as you can see, it's a super narrow um, oh, yeah. beam pattern, but these punch out super far. I shot a, a night carbine match recently with one. And uh, there were some steel targets out at, like, you know, a moderate distance, like 60 or 70 yards. And uh, it was really interesting to see how the different, fla different flashlights worked. And this was a big advantage to, to punch out to that distance. So it actually helps to be able to see things if you want to shoot them? It really helps. If you, <laughs> if you can see what's going on, it'd be amazed at how well you can do. That's pretty cool. Uh, how much of this is the technology? Is it the bulb? And how much of it is the reflector? It's all of it. So... Um, the reflector size p plays a big uh, a big part of that. So a deeper reflector will ge generally give you more candela. Um, okay, and then so the size of the emitter also plays a big part in it. We know. You, I call them bulbs. You call them emitters. I'm wrong, but I, I, I get it. But I'm old-fashioned on that. But yeah, these, LED, these are, are emitters. Correct. Yep. Yep. And so the smaller you can get that the more candela you'll get out of it. And that's beyond my scope of understanding. Wow, this is what's been relayed to me. That's where the physics comes in. Yeah, 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 that's above me, man. But that's what the engineers uh, have relayed. But yeah, so it's it's interesting. You can do, you know, it's kind of like engines where you have horsepower and torque. Right. They're, they're not connected. So like a diesel motor might have, you know, 200 horsepower and 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. 
You, you can have a, a gas and, motor. And with, I do not understand that. Right. It's like, okay, I know that's a thing, but no, you know, I'm not a physics guy. I don't understand that. Lights are the same way is my point. You know, you can have like these lights, which are super high candela, right? 71,000 candela, right. but they're relatively low lumens, 650 lumens. So it wouldn't impress somebody that much with the lumen that they turn it on and they go, wow, look at that. Exactly. Yeah. So it's the story isn't fully told with lumens. It's, it's, a, it's a mix of both and what you want to do with the light. You got all that information on your website. I Absolutely, surefire.com. Because a lot of the stuff you do is explaining this. I mean, you you really were the first company making the high end, very good professional flashlights, and from that time forward, you had to explain this is what this is about. You know, this is why you need this kind of stuff. One hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, and we're big on trying to educate the customer, make sure they get the right tool for the right job. We have a lot of different. Um, products, and uh, and that's specifically for our customers to have the right tools available. Very cool. All right, so if people want to know more about it, surefire.com? That's right. There you go. Thank you so much. It's, we never have enough time, but we always have fun. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom. I cannot believe that elk, dude. That is, that is <laughs> all. Yeah, it was your first one? My first one. Okay. And as you show your picture to every, all your friends, we all hate you collectively. <laughs> you understand that, right? I get it. Yeah, I think I have to retire after that one. I'm <laughs> awesome. not going to, though. Awesome stuff. Surefire.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. All right, don't go far. We'll be right back.